NetMKE is sponsored by U.S. Bank. Milwaukee County Executive David Crowley has a plan. He wants to make Milwaukee County the healthiest county in Wisconsin. And he's getting all of us involved through the Healthy County Challenge. Joining us with the details and info on how we can become involved is Milwaukee County Executive David Crowley. Thanks so much for being here with us. Oh, it's always a pleasure to be with you. Thank you for having me. What is the Healthy County Challenge? Well, that's a great question. So in 2022, we launched the Healthy County Challenge, and this was really a way to bring county residents who went into our parks, our trails, our nature centers, our beaches, and all of the other outdoor spaces that we have throughout Milwaukee County to really foster some, some physical and some mental health. And, and right now we're in the third year, and this is an initiative that we are in collaboration with. We are working with a philanthropic partner, the Milwaukee Parks Foundation, that helps support Milwaukee County Parks. But we also have our accessibility partner, the Ability Center, uh, that has been generous uh, with their support, as well as the Brewers Community Foundation. How was this idea developed, and why, why is it the right time for us to really be launching or continuing this kind of a, of a challenge? Well, when we were going through the planning process of, of creating this, it was, it, was, it was because of the pandemic, to be quite honest with you. There were so many folks who were isolated within their homes. There wasn't a lot of uh, social activities going on. And so we wanted to find ways to bring people outside of their homes and, again, activate those parks because of their own mental and physical health. But there are reports out there. There are scientific reports out there that talks about that if you spend at least two hours per week outdoors in nature, it can result in and some critical positive effects as it relates to your well-being. And so for us, we wanted to provide some free and some low-cost opportunities for our residents to get moving to enjoy being in public spaces like our parks. Again, not only to foster that physical and, and mental uh, well-being for them, but also when we activate our parks and people are in our parks, it also makes it one of the safest places in our community. And Milwaukee County is, of course, well known for having a robust county park system and you have put even more money into uh, helping to secure uh, not just the, the current park system, but a future for the park system as well. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I, I truly believe that the park systems right here within Milwaukee County, we sub crown jewel and quite frankly, it's an asset that many of us take for granted. We have over 150 uh, parks throughout Milwaukee County about 13 different publicly owned golf courses, along with uh, hundreds of miles of trail space, uh, trails uh, for people to, to, to enjoy. And, you know, just last night, honestly, I had the opportunity to go to Washington Park Wednesdays because we like to activate our parks with a lot of music, a lot of food vendors, and, and not only getting a chance to, to, to enjoy the outdoor space and listen to music, but we got our bodies moving. We did an exercise, and I would definitely tell you I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it today. Well, you have been active, not just yesterday, but you have hosted other events. What are some of the other events that you have hosted? Well, absolutely. So we have hosted a numerous types of events all this summer. Uh, we had a free yoga class that were happening at the Mitchell Park Domes. Uh, we've been on community hikes and we did a neighborhood bike ride uh, through, the, through, the Bay, through Bayview area. And we have so many more actually coming up. And so if folks are in, interested in, in finding the full schedule events that we're going to have in the future, uh, people can visit county.milwaukee.gov uh, forward slash HCC 2024 to learn about all the things that we're going to be doing throughout the summer. What are some of the health benefits that you are hoping to see? Yes, it's good for us to get out and to be with people so we, we take away the concern that some people have about social isolation. But what are some of the physical um, efforts that your, your results that you're hoping to see from this effort? I, I really appreciate that question. And I, I start out with our, our, our vision. And our vision at Milwaukee County is that by achieving racial equity, we can become the healthiest county in the state of Wisconsin. And the reason why we have that vision is that when we look at health disparities, they largely fall along racial lines. And so, for example, and we, particularly when it comes down to, to, to men in general, uh, but also black men, we see a rise in heart disease. We see a rise in many different things that affect our heart, our lungs. And we just need to get our, 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 our blood pumping, to be quite frank with you. And so it is our goal that we can reduce 
many of the the, the diseases that we see uh, in our community, particularly heart disease, um, it, but in men, in people of color, because we know that it's extremely prevalent right here within the city of Milwaukee and Milwaukee County. So it is my goal, and we know that everybody's not going to be, you know, you know, buff. We're not asking everybody to do a marathon or anything like that or lift any heavy weights. We just want to get people up and moving. And when you get your blood flowing, that can create many different health benefits for everyone, no matter what age you are. Are you therefore really kind of looking at targeting some parks which may be able to reach communities that may have some health challenges in the work that's being done with the Healthy County Challenge? We, we actually do both. One, we want to make sure that no municipality uh, is, is, is left over or, or, or is forgotten as it relates to this Healthy County Challenge. But absolutely, it's one of the reasons why we were in the Washington Park neighborhood. Uh, one of the reasons why we were in the Bayview neighborhood, particularly starting off uh, actually off of, uh, I want to say, 4th and National and riding all the way, uh, you know, as south as South Shore through the Bayview neighborhoods, because these are the communities. Communities of color are directly impacted uh, by the health disparities that we see today. And when we look to the future, we're going to be, you know, doing a run near Juno Park. We're going to be doing a, a community day at Noise Park with 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 First Tee to have some golfing. And then we uh, particularly go to the Schultz Aquatic Center to make sure that we have a community pool day because we know, particularly just around the entire county, we have issues. But yes, we are making sure to, to, to plan as many events as possible, particularly in hot spots where we know that heart disease or just poor health are more prevalent than others. If people look at the calendar of events and they can't make it, um, what can they do? to embrace the idea behind the Healthy County Challenge, even if they're doing it on their own? Well, one, you can always tag our, our Parks Department about how you are utilizing all of our public spaces to focus on your own mental and physical health. And not only will that help us promote the Healthy County Challenge, but that helps us to promote healthy lifestyles just in general. And so, you know, I tell folks all the time, there are three things that all of us can do in our spare time to give back and that is to give our three T's. The first T is our time. How do we volunteer and utilize our time to bring awareness to a particular issue or fix or bring a solution to a particular problem? Now, the second thing is, is, is our talents. And many of us have different talents. You may be able to sing, Denise. I definitely don't have the talent of singing. But how do we utilize, you know, dance? How do we utilize art? How do we utilize people's talents to bring awareness to a particular issue or to create a level of engagement? And if you don't have the time and you don't have the talents, we ask for treasure. And that's what's great about our partnership with the uh, Parks Foundation, that you can always donate in, in making sure that not only are we we're able to do the Healthy County Challenge, but we're able to invest back into our parks, which definitely contributes to positive developments in our mental and physical health. Well, thank you, County Executive, for being with us and talking about this important initiative. It is always a pleasure to have you on Connect MKE. Well, I appreciate this platform, and thank you for having me. We always got a story to tell and a vision to share. And we will see you out there at these events. Absolutely. Can't wait to see the listening audience out there as well. All right. Thanks so much. We're back in just a minute.